Okay, where'd that guy go that we were talking to? Oh, he's teaching the class. It is Chelsea's teacher. Oh no, we're gonna romance our daughter's business class professor. Hello guys, and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. I am going to cry because I just lost like an hour of footage. Ah! Anyway, long story short, I'm pre-recording stuff for the summer. So we took a look at the Season of Love trailer, but it doesn't matter because by the time this video comes out, that will be announced and probably even out. So I hope you guys are having fun and I just wanted to explain why it's not in this video. Like why I'm not using the new love expansion in my very love-based challenge. It's because I'm pre-recording and it's not out yet. So I apologize in advance, but it should still be a fun time if OBS doesn't break again. Uh, quick recap, the triplets aged up, Blair is an adult, Jill is an adult, and Chelsea's a teen. They're not all the same age because the day that Chelsea aged up into a kid, she aged up so late that she couldn't go to school, so her grades weren't as good, yada yada, she's still a teen. And then we have the two infants who are invisible for some reason, and they're making pretty good progress on their milestones. They both have their fine motor, Camden has his gross motor, and they both have their learn to coo. Yeah, and then Colton only has one gross motor, so they're working on that. And I had discussed an idea of following Chelsea to school because she aged up and her trait is... Where do you see your... There it is. And her traits are good and romantic. And so I thought it could be fun to follow her to high school tomorrow and try and get her a date. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, sorry that so much of that footage got lost. Let's continue. Hopefully this doesn't get lost. This is probably going to be a shorter episode for that, which is really annoying because I don't have time to record a whole nother hour. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll follow Chelsea to school and that will probably be the majority of this episode. Gosh, that comes to tummy time with your son, please. And then I wanted Blair to come play with Camden. Because that should help with his social, I think. Oh, Jill's already doing it for me. No, she's not. She just came over here to stand. Okay. And then Chelsea is working on her project. Okay, good. Jill, I truly do not care what you do. Um, she's active. Do you want to come, like, work out? Oh, yeah. And Tiana came over to hang out with Blair. She's one of our other kids. Don't worry about it. Blair, why don't you actually pick up Camden? Jill, do you want to come play with the hamster since you have nothing better to do? Oh, someone's getting a milestone. Nice. Colton got his last gross motor. Great. So all they need now is social. Also, I gave all the triplets makeovers. And I'm quite fond of Blair's. I really went ham on the cat theme since he aged up with cat ears. I don't know. He's pretty fun. All right, Chelsea finished her school project, so now she should do her homework. And in the meantime, Shasha and Blair are trying to socialize with the twins. Oh, Camden's getting a milestone. Is it his laughter one? Please. It is. Great, Camden can age up. Blair, can you make a cake for that? Oh, that's the other thing. We had a cake and then it spoiled and then we made a new cake and then Jill had a slice. So we have to make another cake. Oh, she's flirty from being romantic. Don't you worry. We're going to find you a significant other tomorrow. Or at least we're going to try. We're going to flirt with someone. You like take care of your needs. Also, I had a lot of food. Where did it all go? Well, I guess I don't have food anymore. Did you finish the cake? Okay, put candles on it, please. And come help Camden blow out the candles. A chiller bud is growing old. No. That's our hamster, by the way. <gasps> Colton also got his laugh milestone. All right, they can both age up now. Here we go. Oh, he's silly. Okay. All right, then Jill, you're already holding Colton. So do you want to have Colton come over here and blow out his candles? <gasps> Shasha's in labor. Oh, and Colton aged up. Okay, he's a charmer. How nice. Shasha's in labor. Okay, well, um, oh, I'm worried that we're not going to get back in time to take Chelsea to school. We will, right? Probably. I could just have baby here, but then I don't get a birth certificate and I want a birth certificate. Aha, it's our bestie and also our mother of our grandchild. I still don't know how I feel about you. You're on thin ice, but please deliver this child ASAP. I'm trying to check in. How do I check in? Ah, here we go. All right, we're getting kind of close to when the kids are going to leave for school. You better have the kid before then. Raylan. Oh, I need to update my spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet of all the kids. All right, I don't remember who Raylan's dad is. <gasps> Ooh, another girl. Okay. Isabel. Do we have an Isabel yet? We do not have an Isabel yet. Okay. Ah, Mateo. Oh, is that the guy from the wedding pack? Who's like engaged to someone else? Ooh. Yeah, this guy. Mateo Markovic. All right. We should be able to get home in time, especially if I just switch control. Oh, I can't. Okay. Finish having your baby, please. Please let me go home. Please let me go home. <gasps> yes. Okay. All right. How are your needs? They better be great. They're mostly great. You're just a little bit tired, but it's fine. It's time for school. Let's go. I don't really know how like the grade system works when you go to active high school. So hopefully I haven't just shot myself in the foot. Oh yeah, no one else is at school today. It's just Chelsea. I was about to be like, study hard, but there's no one to do that for. Okay, learn about new school from principal. I could do that. I probably should do that if I want to like do well in school. Fine, come here. Marie Prescott, you are my sister's mother-in-law. So technically you're my grandmother-in-law. No, aunt-in-law? I think that's how that works. I don't know. Friendly introduction. 
Okay, learn about new school. Also, I brought Shasha here, um, apparently in her scrubs, because I was hoping we might find an adult to become pregnant with again, like maybe one of the teachers. Because there are adults here. However, both of them are girls that we found so far. Well, we'll just wait. I mean, Shasha has nothing better to do. All right, we learned about our new school. We need to claim a locker. I guess this one? Then we need to talk to the teacher about curriculum. I don't want to do that. I want to meet someone and be romantic. Look, she's in a flirty mood because love day is tomorrow. We're going to add decoration to our locker and then we're gonna go meet someone cute. You're cute. You are however thinking about someone else. Why? Mm, are you already in a relationship? I don't want to mess with someone who's already in a relationship. You are a teacher. No. Oh, here's a male teacher. Shasha, come over here and meet this guy. Flirty introduction. Okay, back to Chelsea. I feel like I saw someone cute a minute ago while I was looking for people for Shasha. Where'd he go? Eyes down here. Sydney Price. Okay, can we do a flirty introduction since we're like flirty? We can. Meanwhile, how's Shasha's thing going? Oh, where'd he go? I'm just saying, if I were Chelsea, I'd be so embarrassed right now. My mother showing up to school in her hospital gown trying to flirt with my teacher. Awkward for sure. They're hanging out though. Chelsea and Sydney. It's an amorous exchange, but there's no love bar. That does not bode well. Sydney is single. Okay. <gasps> there's the love bar. Okay. Exchange numbers. Flirt. Let's go back and look at Shasha real quick. I might put her in a group with this guy so that they can like go somewhere else away from the kids. Oh, I can't put him in a group. Why not? That's a little annoying, but okay. Oh, it's because we're in the middle of a social event. Well, we can still be romantic in front of these teenagers. This feels weird. Oh, they're exchanging numbers too. I'm gonna pretend that Chelsea has no idea her mom is upstairs. Oh, that's the bell. Ooh, Chelsea has a crush on Sydney. <gasps> they can have their first kiss. <gasps> Do that real quick and then go to class. Look at them. I want screenshots. He looks kind of scared. Oh, they're cute. You should probably go to class now. What class are we? Ooh, I don't know. I hope it's this one because this is where I'm going. All right, she's here attending business class. And meanwhile, Shasha has gone into the basement. Why? To spout memes. That is incredibly on brand. <laughs> okay, where'd that guy go that we were talking to? Oh, he's teaching the class. It is Chelsea's teacher. Oh no, we're gonna romance our daughter's business class professor. Oh, that's so bad. Can I have you like pay extra attention or something? Okay, you're taking notes. Ooh, there's our crush. He's in class with us. Okay, now we have a lunch hour, but who needs lunch when I'm trying to get a boyfriend? Hmm? Also, Shasha's back trying to romance the teacher. Chelsea, you might want to get out of here. I can mess around with him, but we can't be boyfriend-girlfriend? Why not? That's kind of annoying. So I can ask him to prom, but it requires a promposal sign. How do I do that? I'm not sure. I think I'll figure that out later. For now, we'll just chat and kiss maybe. Travel to auditorium for career day? Sure, I didn't know today was career day. I've never played career day before, to be honest. Let's see, there's a chef a military person, question mark, and a spy, I think. An astronaut? Or maybe that's just the generic career day poster. Well, this is cool, she's going around talking to everybody. She is also notably tired, but that's fine. Discuss future with your teacher. Okay, is my teacher here? Or is my teacher back at the high school romancing my mother? Oh, no piece here. Cool. Well, we have nothing else to do, so leave school early? Actually, hold on. That's Sydney. Let's talk to him. All right, we can head home now. Prom is coming. Honestly, I might keep Chelsea in the house long enough to go to prom. Let's go home though. All right, run inside. <laughs> Oh, you know what I've just realized? We have eight people in this house, so Shasha can't get pregnant. All right, Jill and Blair, that means you guys have to move out. That's the other thing I didn't mention. I gave Blair the werewolf aspiration because of his ears. So I think I'm gonna move them to the werewolf world. Also, I gave Jill a makeover and I think she looks really cute too. Do you guys want to move in with the Volkovs? Oh, never mind. They don't have room for you. Maybe the Valdez? The Valdezes? I don't like kicking out people if I can avoid it. All right, and I think I'm gonna have to end it here, guys. I'm sorry for such a short episode, but I have a doctor's appointment that I need to go to. <laughs> So I cannot keep filming. But I hope even though it was short, it was entertaining. As always, have a lovely day. Bye!